Hey guys, and welcome back to Spyro. When we last left off, we were about to complete the game, uh, I'm pretty sure. Now, I found a really interesting tip um, <laughs> out about Reignited Trilogy. Here we are, right at the end of the fucking game. And nowhere can I find that this is mentioned. Um, because the game doesn't actually come with a manual. In fact, let me go get the box right now. I need to, to find this out. Essentially, if you push down on the left analog stick, Sparks will do that. Seems useless, right? Wrong. When you're actually in a level, if you've lost one gem and you can't find it, push down and Sparks will point you to the closest gems. No matter where they are on the level, he will point towards the closest gems. That is a feature that they've added to the Reignited uh, Trilogy, because obviously that wasn't part of the original games. And in my opinion, that is a really, really good, solid feature to add. But nowhere is it even mentioned. None of the dragons mention it. So one second, I'm going to go get the uh, box and see if it's actually mentioned on the box anywhere. It's not. I literally have the Xbox box here there's nothing inside same with the PlayStation box nothing inside at all that's quite an important feature that I'm curious as to why the game doesn't tell you is it in the options somewhere control scheme point to treasure okay so it is actually buried in the controls but how many people are actually going to check the controls out? Uh, I don't know, man. That's <laughs> I actually just found that from watching a, a Kadikarus video. And my bullshit button's going off. Um, yeah, interesting. Okay, so with that out of the way, I have a feeling that that's going to be really bloody useful um, in the next two games. Because as I've said, I have literally no knowledge of the next two games. What an interesting feature to add to the game. Because I remember, uh, you know, playing this as a young nipper. Uh, when you're missing the last few pieces of treasure on a level, it was a pain in the dick man so to have that feature added into the game is really fucking cool <sighs> i just can't believe it was never mentioned by one of the dragons considering it sounds like they've redone some of the voice lines or they could have added a voice line in i'm not sure why we had no audio here right so here we are guys the final confrontation with nasty nork however you will notice that he's a bit of a dickhead and he is barricaded behind um, that little area there and you need a key to get to him so luckily he has some minions here with said key and I've completely balked that up but these guys are actually really easy to get I'm just making it look difficult you can actually, actually, yes, you can actually um, get this guy off guard, like, instantly. You don't even really have to chase him. He is sort of pathetic if you can get around that corner really quickly. Uh, which I am failing to do, because I'm on camera. You know, let's play as curse and all of that. Alright, let's go gather up these gems. So now we have the key to defeat Nasty Nork, right? Wrong! No, why would there just be one key, fool? There is two keys, of course. Uh, this key will allow us to unlock the opportunity to get the real key. Because, you know, moon logic, I guess. Well, I wouldn't say this is exactly moon logic, but... Let's go. And again, this guy, you can literally take him out in one flame too. Uh, but <laughs> because oh god I am let's playing this of course that's not gonna happen you know right let's 
got him. There we go. See what I mean? You can literally catch him on that first bend. Now, there is an achievement for chasing Nasty Nork around uh, his area for five laps. So, we are going to get that achievement. Because, hey, we've come this far. We might as well get, uh, get that one. Right, where are you? Where are you? There we go. Kind of a weird dungeon-y castle type place. If you can uh, defeat the enemy just by, you know, opening keys in his evil lair. Also, I want to point out the fact that Nasty Nork spends an awful lot of his time running away from you. He, it's not really uh, a traditional boss fight as such. So we're going to chase him around three times. The actual biggest danger here, to be honest with you, is falling into the water because the water I believe on this level is a, a one hit KO so bear that in mind need to concentrate a little bit charging around this this course because you know one small fuck up and it's game over man oh Jesus like that you see that could have been destination fucked right there but we're good we're good we're just going to give this fat bastard a nice little workout and sweat some like gristle off now, we actually have to flame him whilst he stands on that plinth, and that will move us on to the next battle. He's actually, he's like, considering he's the final boss of this game, he's so easy, it's painful. Which can be said for all of the bosses, to be fair. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure why uh, the bosses were made so easy, because, you know, we've had games before where the enemies are easy, but... In this, it, you know, it really does kind of take the cake a little bit. And there we go. All we've got to do is flame him. And he actually stands there for quite a while. Like, you know, it's fairly generous with the time. So, bear that in mind. Come on. Is this lap number three? I can't remember. Not sure why we have to chase him around for five laps. Seems a little bit excessive, but hey. We don't make the rules, we just break them. Come on, buddy. Come on. This is what you wanted. I don't know why... He, like, he doesn't even attack you there. You would have thought that he would uh, put some kind of sucker punch move. Uh, you know, try and ram that fucking... Hammer of his up Spyro's ass, but nope. He is literally a pussy. A little bitch boy. All bark, no bite. Which is fine. Yeah. There's quite an interesting boss fight uh, when I was a kid. I, I, I did think it was a little bit strange. There we go. <laughs> I did think it was a little bit strange that uh, he doesn't really fight back. Anywho, now we've got him to move on. Let's go harvest up the last few gems, like so. Gems. We want gems. We like gems in these parts. Like so. More gems. I think that's pretty much all of it. I think. Yeah, there we go. Sparks is pointing to the closest gems. That's such a cool feature, man. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm glad I found out about that, to be honest. Right, let's go. Oof. Now, this bit is probably the only tricky part of this entire boss encounter. You can, you know, be too slow here and fall into the lava. Which might happen. Nah, we're good. We're, we're good. We're good. There we go. Skill point acquired. You're toast, Nork. <laughs> and that's it, man. <laughs> Sorry I took so long forgot about you guys. What about Ganasty Ganork? 
nasty Nork <laughs> is toast. So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Uh, well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to find. What will you do next? <sighs> I'd say the sky's the limit. Mm-hmm. So that is one ending, but that's not the proper ending. There is still some treasure to get. There is indeed. Now, can we skip this? We actually can. So, we're going to, of course, get the true ending, where we get all of the treasure. Also, Spyro's a bit of a knob to that poor sheep. I wouldn't want to be an expendable uh, critter in the dragon universe. There's also, look at that, another dragon. Magnus. I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard, but the gate will only open if you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. Which we have done. 100%. Six hours. Completion time. I'm in the money. Let's go. Nasty's loot. This is a fun level. You can't really fail this level. There's 2,000 treasure to find. It's uh yeah, quite the uh quite the adventure. <laughs> it's just a massive collector thon. Oh it's a cool little Easter egg to hide right at the end of the game. You know, back when games used to have cool little uh hidden stuff. Alright, there's no dragons to find because we've saved them all. Now the rub with this level is we can fly freely if we jump. But the way it works is kind of strange. We cannot fly higher than we can jump on a certain platform so we have to get to um, higher platforms to be able to fly higher don't question it i don't understand it but that's that's how it works see that's our max ceiling there but now we're on this we can actually fly a little bit higher it is strange but hey that Spyro for you. Anyway, let's start collecting gems. 2,000 treasure to find. Which is uh, <laughs> quite the quite the task. But, you know. It's all good. Uh, collecting treasure in this game is just fun. I don't know what it is exactly about it. But it's incredibly addictive. And the best way to really do this is to try and clear out every, the game level by level so at the moment we're only on the basic level so let's try and 100% that before we move on and here we have these thieves but the thieves don't have any more dragon eggs no they have keys this time around keys not for treasure chests but for doors come on almost 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 flames up his ass there we are right there we go. And you can see already that we've uh, managed to amass quite the sum of treasure. So I think that's pretty much everything this side done. Yeah, we can get over here. Cool. Ouch, ouch, my face, my ugly face. Alright, now we can't quite get up there, so let's go use our key. Pretty sure we've maxed it out now, yeah. So it's these keys that allow us to essentially get to the next level of altitude. There we go. Now we're one higher. Now we can hear an aeroplane or something. There is indeed an aeroplane stuck behind that door, but we can't worry about him just yet. Okay, so next area that we can get to is here. Let's go flame this guy's ass. Come here, friend. Gee, looks like you're wearing a, a nice flammable robe there. It'd be an awful shame if you'd burn to death. There we go. More delicious, delicious gems. Okay, so let's go. We've got another key, so we can get to another high elevation. See, we can see stuff up there, we just can't get to it. I never knew why we could beat our wings. It doesn't seem to do anything. Unless I'm missing something, of course. Right, let's open the door. 
Hey, friendo. Looks like you're trying to uh, get away at speed. Well, there's only one king of the skies around these parts. And it ain't you, my friend. Come on. Let's try and get that racing line. I like the aeroplanes that they have. Notice he's kind of speeding up. He's a little bit of a dodgy flyer. Oh, you little sausage. See that? He actually, uh, he's got some moves, you know, this guy. He's got some moves. He's certainly uh, not flying on a strict linear path, that's for sure. Now he's going to go under, which is good for us. Really? You little bastard. I think we singed his ass piece with that one. Come on. No. Look at that. This guy. This guy has definitely got some moves. He's smoking now, though. He's starting to sweat. There we go. Pretty sure. Yep, he gives us a key. When he dies, he gives us a key. Good man, that man. Good thing the key isn't, like, obliterated with him. Alright. Now, next key. Which I believe is up here. Now, once we've reached the next elevation, then we can just continuously, um, you know, we don't have to jump off this height um, to be able to fly this high. We can jump off from any area and reach the maximum altitude. Okay, so that's opened up some more areas. We've got some fireworks as well, which is nice. I do like this freedom of flying that we've got going on here. That's cool. All right, there's one. The world's slowest firework. We should be able to get to that one. Yeah, we can. Cool. Now, can we get... No, we can't quite reach that one, which is an arse. But we can unlock this door. Which I believe is the final key. I think. No, there is one more key after this guy. Yeah, we've got one more. Flyer. Right, let's roast this guy's nuts. I actually think uh, these planes were harder on the original PlayStation 1 version. They seem to just be faster, but I might be misremembering that. Perhaps. I just kind of take a more efficient racing line there. Come on. Ooh. Yeah, you're done, son. Get the fuck out of here. He's done. Now that is the last key, I believe. Now this is one of my favorite rooms in this game, I think. If this is the final key. There might be one more, but I think we're good. So right above us is, yeah, this one. Wait, hang on. No, 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 we need to go to the other side. Wait, have we got all of the skill points we have actually got all of the skill points so we can look at the gallery that's all the skill points give you uh it's just a gallery unlock it's not that exciting but you know it's something that they've thrown in there so no that's not it maybe it is through here after all maybe i'm just being retarded Mhm. Mm yeah i am there we go that's what we want the final door. This should lead. Uh, maybe not. Right, okay. Well, that will allow us to fly as high as we possibly can anyway, as you can see here. Ah, right. This is Nasty's uh, treasure hoard. Look how epic this is. Look at all these gems. It's so satisfying. And here we can see his secret, shameful area. Look at all those freaking gems. There's something about that that's so satisfying. And look at this room as well. Keep out. I don't know if that's like another vault through there that we can never get into. All right, let's harvest up all the goodies. Mm -mm -mm. That's what we're talking about so satisfying look at all these posters imagination rhymes with devastation patience is for dragons knowledge is the power to turn dragons into crystal 
practice. It's not about being the best. It's about destroying everyone else. I like that. He loves himself. Look at this shit. Absolutely loves himself. All these love letters and stuff. I don't know who they're from. Maybe they're from himself. I'm not sure. Confidence. There's nothing standing between you and your goal, but a little tiny purple dragon. Yeah, a little tiny purple dragon that bent you over. Uh, teamwork. It is Norks who can't do it themselves. Huh. There we go. Right. I do love that room. It's so cool. I'm going to take a shot of that, actually. Nasty Nork. Let's go. So, we only have a little bit of treasure left. Most of it's locked behind these treasure chests. So, let's open these guys up. Ah, some treasure down there that we've left too. Uh, there's one. There's another rocket over here. I think there's like, so there's one rocket we're missing. So that's open. That's going to take that one out, I'm pretty sure. Ah, there's the other rocket. We got him. We got him. Ah, oh, you bastard. Spyro. That's not how we fly in these parts. Ah, look. You can see that we have missed a few gems here. Okay. Grab off all of this good stuff. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. 75 here. What's this? This is a good little collection. I don't think it's going to be a hunt now. It's not even a 100. Having said that, I don't... Yeah, there we go. That's all the gems. Not bad. There's another achievement. Hoarder. 90 points. That's not too shabby. Now, we only have... A few more achievements. We've got three more achievements to achieve... I wish with this we could actually um, select. Like, if you're playing a multi game um, collection, you should just be able to select, like, Spyro 1, or, you know, game 1, 2, 3, that sort of thing on this achievement list. That's something that I would really like to see. But, I mean, the Xbox's achievement system is so much better than the PlayStation's. I really do prefer it. Okay, right, not bad. Um, now, so, bird brained. Charge a vulture, that would be easy. Uh, crystal flight, flame all of the directional fairies, and complete wild, f yeah, the wild flight one's going to be the hardest, I think, but, hey man, we just got to have faith. That's it. Let's go, let's get the good ending. He's wearing shades. And recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the Dragon World, of course. <laughs> I certainly she. wouldn't want to spend the rest of my Dragon Days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? <laughs> uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh oh, here we go again. Kind of a weird ending the way you see um, the dragons turning back into crystal, but of course, you know, Spyro 2 is a very different beast. And from what I've seen, it doesn't actually involve saving dragons that are crystallized. Right, anyway, so here we are. Now that what that sunny flight is wild flight that we need to do. So let's flame these guys. And we need to go to what was it? Wild flight. Let's try wild flight, because that's gonna be the biggest pain in the dick, I think. Uh that's night flight. Oh god. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this achievement, actually. Because we can't... Mm. 
yeah, because we've already done the level. Unless we're allowed to go back through it, but without the pressure of the time. Is it going to let us do that? I find that strange. Because without the time pressure, obviously the, the level becomes significantly easier. Let's just see, shall we? Does this level actually still complete when you get to, uh, well, when you kill all of the enemies? I'm going to assume that it does. It'd be a bit weird if it doesn't. Right, so we've got all the planes. We just need to get the chests. Uh, I think the chests are through here. Must have missed one somewhere. Yeah, that one. Okay, so that's all of those. Now the boats, I believe, are split into two. Memory serves, anyway. Yeah, these boats are kind of all over the place. We're going to have to come back to them. But then, you know, without any kind of time pressure, it doesn't really matter, does it? Which is a little bit strange. So now we just got to get the boats. Three left. Wait, did I just hit the water? I don't think so. Oh no! Okay, that's actually ridiculously easy that you can just do that without... Okay. Huh. Because without the time pressure, with, you know, panicking and trying to get everything done fast, That makes those challenges significantly easier. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Okay. So, returning to Beastmakers. Now, what else do we have? I think... On this level... Wild Flight we've done... Uh, bird brains, which is in Dry Canyon, and uh, Crystal Flight. So, Dry Canyon and Crystal Flight. Dry Canyon. Yes, we can do Crystal Flight. This is going to be like way easy because, again, we don't have the time pressure. We've just got to f <laughs> find the fairies and flame them. I don't think we even have to finish the level. Uh, which is really weird, so let's just take the easy path, so to speak. Yeah, so there's one. Give her a dose of the good stuff. They seem to like it, you know, they've got a kinky side to them. They like a bit of the old flames, a bit of spice, you know. Uh, right. Got to remember where the others are, but we should just, you know, if we follow the path, we'll bump into them. There we go. Oh! Well, I mean, like, <laughs> there we go. That was that. Fair enough. So now we just need Dry Canyon. And we need to ram into a vulture. And then that's it. The game. 120% complete, everything found, and all achievements. Very easy game, actually, for gamer score. I don't know if the uh, later game is going to be as easy. I, As I've said, I have no idea whatsoever. But I guess we're going to find out one way or another. Right, now we just need to charge a vulture. Which... It's a very strange achievement because it doesn't really seem like much of an achievement at all, to be honest. There we go. Done and done. That's like every achievement done now, I think. 36. Yes. Wow, looks like there's a lot for Spyro 3. Holy shit. As Agent 9? Who the fuck is Agent 9? 
Get revenge on money bags? Maybe I should stop reading these achievements. Search for help. Yeah, that just like opens up Internet Explorer or oh, Microsoft Edge. That's interesting. Okay, that's quite a cool little feature they've built into it. Anyway, guys, um, now we don't want to load up Conquer. So that is Spyro. So uh, I guess when we come back, we're going to be going straight into Spyro 2. Uh, Spyro 2 is going to be a much more painful LP, I think, <laughs> for the for obvious reasons. Um, the, the way the worlds are set up seems quite different to me anyway. Um, but we're going to see. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.